Welcome to today's class. Today I'll be talking about IFMIS. IFMIS is a system that is common and it has been used over the years. So IFMIS is an integrated financial management system that automates various functions when it comes to public financial management. It has uh, enabled linking between planning, budgeting, expenditure management and control accounting and reporting. So IFMIS is a government system that has enabled the government to be able to plan, budget, ensure expenditure management, accounting audit and reporting. So what does IFMIS do? The IFMIS is designed to improve system for financial data recording, tracking, and information management. So if this allows the government to be able to record data and store that data. And in the event you want to track the data, if this allows you to be able to track that data. It has also enabled information management. You realize the government is dealing with a lot of information. So the best thing that the government can do is to be able to manage that information. And if this has enabled the organization to be able to do that, it has also led to the response to increase demand for greater transparency and accountability in management of public finance. So if this has allowed transparency when it comes to do with issues to do with public finance, it has also led to accountability. Remember when you are using this system, you are given a password and that password will allow the people in government to be able to be tracked on what they are doing with their system. So IFMIS also has ensured a higher degree of data quality and this has improved workflow performance for improved business results and links planning, policy objective and budget allocation. So you realize nowadays it's very easy for government when they want to allocate, allocate resources to various departments in government, they just use the IFMIS system. And IFMIS also allows you to be able to plan and come up with, with various policies. And these policies are the policies that will guide on how you are going to use the IFMIS system. So what does the system do? The system also enhances reporting capabilities to support the budget planning. So you are able to report. And once you report, therefore, it means at the end of the day, you are able to summarize what you've been doing all day. So it means allows that it has also automated the procurement process through requisition, tendering, contract award, and payment. This has led to the facilitation of auto reconciliation of revenue and payments with automatic file generation. So you are able to reconcile your revenues vis-a-vis -vis your, your cost. And at the end of the day, it has enabled the facilitation of better payment of suppliers and other stakeholders within the public entity. It has facilitated automation of revenue collection for improved cash forecasting. So it, it is very easy for government to collect revenue using the IFMIS system. And these have enabled the government to be able to forecast on how much they are going to collect and how much is going to be used in the various organizations. So it has provided an accurate and up-to-date information on the government's financial position. So today, if you want to get the financial position of the government, you just load in on the IFMI system and you're able to run and see how the various institutions in government are doing in terms of financial position. So you're able to know how is the government doing when it comes to various financial issues. So IFMI in Kenya, if Miss in Kenya started uh, and was launched in 2003, in 2003, however, the introduction only limited was limited to some few modules with other financial processes remaining manual. If Miss Engineering was therefore deemed necessary to introduce a full cycle of an end-to-end -end approach for efficient and effective financial management and service delivery. So if Miss Reengineering was introduced, what is if Miss Reengineering? Reengineering is an initiative of the Ministry of 
finance that enhances the efficiency and effectiveness in public financial management. So Ministry of Finance is the one that does all the engineering. In February 2011, the Deputy Prime Minister then, who was the Minister of Finance, that was His Excellency Uru Kenyatta, launched the IFMIS Reengineering Strategic Plan for five years. And that was in 2011 to 2013. If Ministry Engineering full cycle is an end-to-end -end process that allows all the public entities to be able to use the various modules of e-procurement. So what are some of the benefits of using the IFMIS system? One of the benefits is that it has enabled re-engineering, which has promoted transparency and accountability in public financial resources. It has also led to uh, better spending and reduced uh, corruption and therefore enhancing controls when it comes to issues to do with audit procedures and well strengthening fiscal planning and reporting. This system also has enabled efficient resource allocation mechanism. So we realize the government is able to allocate resources more effectively. It has also led to improved management information for decision making. So basically, decision making is very key in any institution of government. So if means has enabled the government to be able to improve decision making. It has also established the effective link between key players in accounting and financial management. You realize we have that link between the key players in government. So they are able to come together and perform various functions. It has also led to financial controls by availing reliable and timely financial information. So you are able to get information and this information will enable you to be able to control your finances. It has led to improved accounting, recording and reporting through timely, accurate financial data provision. So you are able to communicate, to be able to record and at the end of the day get accurate information that will assist in your decision making. It has accelerated the pace and scope of economic growth. So using IFMIS, you realize we have economic growth and many institutions of government are able to use the IFMIS to their strategic advantage. It has also led to the development of partners' confidence. You realize people are able to have the confidence, the confidence in government. So if means re-engineering components, the first one is re-engineering for business results. This component reviews the business process for improved financial management. So it allows the government to be able to improve in financial management. The other component is the plan to budget. This is a fully integrated process and system that links the planning, policy objective and budget allocation. So plan to budget allows the, the government to be able to plan and come up with various, various policies that allows better budget allocation. The other component is the procure to pay. Procurement to pay is a development system that allows full integration and automated supply chain management system. So procurement to pay allows the supply chain management to be able to be integrated both on the supplier side, on the government side and on the end users side. And the end users side are the employees and also the public at large. The other component is the revenue to cash. Revenue to cash basically automates the reconciliation of revenue and payment with automatic file generation. So you realize the government is able to reconcile when it comes to revenue and the various costs, e.g. payments, and this leads to automatic file generation. The other uh, component is the record to report. This secures a two-way interface with Central Bank of Kenya for accurate, up-to-date information on the government of Kenya's financial position. 
and the production of statutory reports in real time. So this allows the central bank and the government of Kenya to be able to come up with various interfaces that will allow better financial reporting. The other one is ICT to support. This uh, component is dedicated, is dedicated if missed, support function for software, hardware, infrastructure. So this system allows the government to be able to support issues to do with ICT. The other one is communication to change. If Miss Academy for capacity building and continuous learning. So this allows the government to be able to continuously learn and become better people in society. The government, in ensuring that they perform better, they have come up with a system. And this system is the integrated financial management system that allows every function of public entities and institutions are up and running and at the end of the day making the government to be very competitive thank you for listening